Welcome to the Saul's Newsstand News Review for May 1st, 2020. An op-ed from the 60-plus chairman James Martin and entertainment legend Pat Boone states, Seniors resent politics of death. When the first COVID-19 death in the United States was reported on February 29th, the nation was presented with a public health problem that rapidly escalated to crisis proportions. The health and lives of Americans were placed at risk, and the early response to the crisis was one rooted in care, concern, and action. But the response morphed during the intervening weeks into an ugly reflection of the very worst of human traits. Increasingly, the response to this virus has become less about medicine and science and more about the most brutal style of politics ever witnessed in a free society, the death of senior supporters of President Trump. It's no secret that a majority of older Americans vote Republican in presidential elections and have for roughly the past 25 years. It's also no secret that older people suffer exponentially higher mortality rates due to COVID-19. A study of coronavirus deaths in New York State by researchers at Stanford University shows that two-thirds of all deaths were among people older than 70, and 99.2% of all COVID-19 deaths in the state involve people with at least one underlying health problem. But liberals are giving a gleeful reception to a study theorizing that COVID-19 could kill tens of thousands of older Trump voters. The Politico reported that researchers on the fatality study said that they found the virus could also ravage Republicans across Florida and Georgia. We ought not be surprised that political analysts will analyze politics. It's what they do. But the net-net is that people of one ideological persuasion are now seeing a political advantage in the deaths of people who might vote for the other guy. This is sick. There is no other word for it. We would strongly encourage you to read the full op-ed by clicking on the link in the description below. An article from The Hill reports, Bipartisan lawmakers back efforts to expand telehealth services for seniors. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle are throwing their support behind efforts to expand telehealth services, especially for elderly patients, to help combat the coronavirus. Speaking at the Hill's first virtual event on Wednesday, Representative Doris Matsui and Representative Bill Johnson highlighted how telehealth allows elderly patients to receive proper medical care and checkups during the pandemic while staying at home. Representative Johnson said, quote, Telehealth is a great, great tool, and if there is a silver lining in this dark cloud of the coronavirus, it's that the nation's eyes are now focused on just how urgent it is that we bridge the urban-rural-digital divide. Individuals 65 and older are among the most at risk when it comes to contracting the deadly coronavirus. And finally, an article from Fox News states, Wisconsin couple recovered from coronavirus cheered by staff during discharge. A Wisconsin couple who had been hospitalized due to the novel coronavirus was released earlier this month to the sound of applause and cheers from the medical staff who helped them recover. Jeff and Cheryl Poole, who were both at one point in the ICU at Unity Point Health Meritor, first went to the hospital in mid-March and had each required ventilator support. Beth Woodford, one of the hospital's ICU nurses, said, quote, the fact that they both made it through and they can get home together, it's just fabulous. The couple who promised to return to the hospital to thank the staff for saving their lives once the pandemic is over want the public to know that the virus is a serious threat. As the pair were wheeled down the halls of the hospital on their way out on April 17th, staff members lined the hall to clap and cheer on their recovery. Wisconsin has seen more than 6,500 cases of COVID-19 as of Thursday and at least 308 deaths according to the state's health department. About 31% of the fatalities involve patients over 90. And that concludes your Saul's Newsstand News Review for May 1st, 2020. For more political news faster, visit saulsnews.com.